Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, Morning Chow, and today's episode is another kind of interesting question that, that sort of came up um, you know, in, in the uh, comments and that kind of stuff. Is that now I've been doing lots of you know the the, the top and the best hits of uh, the 1980s and now right now working on the 1990s, but someone suggested, well, what's the reverse? Like, what is the worst animes that you think uh, you know that you can recommend uh, at this time? So as I'm thinking, okay, well, yeah, you know, because I've already sort of done the database and uh, you know have all the you know the, the, the uh, best sort of uh, your most notable titles already sort of made, why not also apply the reverse uh, filter on that and see what animes are probably the worst ones, the ones that I don't like uh, on the list. So this is this particular episode, I'm going to go through some of the titles that I, you know, that I just don't, you know, just have no uh, ability like it, but I've, you know, seen them and watched them and so think, okay, this is like a uh, total waste of time. But uh, you know, or just, you know, just just shun them because of, of what they are. Um, well, what are they? So let's uh, go through this episode. Go through, go through this, okay? Uh, so before we begin, I want to remind everyone to go down below. Uh, you know, put, you know, put your comments and you know, also click like. Obviously, if you have some uh, titles that, that that you've come across and uh, you've totally hated, by all means, put it down below. I'm sure that it will add to the conversation of what your hor most horrible titles are. Because there's probably quite a few of them that uh, that, that you've run across uh, in this uh, journey of watching different sort of animes, right? So do definitely do that. Uh, also, I've got the uh, super thanks as well as the PayPal and Patreon links below. Uh, again, uh, you know I've got some new episodes coming up. Well, obviously, we're, we're, we're doing some art books and that kind of stuff, and some new mangas. Uh, we're going to make, make some more episodes of those uh, coming up very shortly. So in this episode, we're going to go through and uh, give you some of the. Uh, episodes and shows and uh, movies and that things that I really dislike and I'll give you the reasons why I dislike them and put them in different categories of why. Now again, the list that I've done is linked below, okay, um, and all the, and all the resources that I have uh, for the history of anime, including uh, you know the most notable titles from the my anime lists of the several you know the you know tens and twenties of episodes that I've done uh, on creating this particular list uh that link is below so if you want to you know look and see what all the episode titles that have some sort of significance in the western sphere for the entirety of the 1980s again that link is below you can download the excel file and uh, and uh, get that list for yourself okay um again uh, i'm going to be creating this list uh, off of uh you know, for 1990 as well so as a continue uh, i'll probably do the exact same thing for that when I go and create this, uh, you know, continue this matter, okay? So, without further delay, let's go through the worst titles for the 1980s. So, we can begin by saying that, you know, there's lots of, you know, really, you know, not very, you know, good um, anime OVAs and that kind of stuff and TV shows and, that, and whatnot that are out there um, based off of, uh, you know, just, you know, just poor plot and, um, you know, design and that kind of stuff i mean we got lots of things like you know rikyo and you know dog soldier and uh you know just crazy animes like that right sure but um but i'm not gonna go get into that one per se the word i'm gonna get into a little more on you know things that you know i feel that are you know even sort of you know worse than this like and and like just things that i just avoid getting into because just because i i just don't find the visual appealing okay and so I'll just start with the list, uh, and uh, no particular order. Just I uh, kind of went through the uh, anime um, the database, as you see behind here, to basically go through the list and figure out, um, you know, of this from this list, what are ones that I don't really like, okay? Um, and, and go through exactly why, okay? So the first one on the list is Darkness of Sea and uh, Shadow of the Moon. Of course, you know I got you know I I, had, I came across this title because of the uh, the, the CD that, that 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 came out. It's part of the SM set, and uh, so the original character design for this one is a uh, uh, Chi Shinohara. Okay, and she you know does this one as well as Purple Eyes in the Dark, which also is also in the uh, CD set. Um, looking at the, at the you know the manga and that kind of stuff, I just just don't like the character design. You know, just just the way that the person is is, is drawn and. You know, it's just—I guess—not my style. I, 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 I just don't like how the how the, how the 
the characters all seem somewhat the same, right? There's no, no really distinguishing feature that seems to pay so apart. And so that's why I don't particularly like that particular thing. It's just mainly because of the, of, the, of, the, of the character manga. Now, when they adapted it to an anime, okay, the character designer uh, that uh, does the OVA for this particular thing is a Setsuko uh, Shibuchi, okay? Now, she, uh, probably was, at this particular time, is most well known for the character design for the OVA for Grey, Digital Target. Okay, so again, I, I, know, I, I don't mind the anime kind of version. Like, you know, the character design is acceptable for that um, in, in this sort of early stage of anime OVAs. Um, it's just, yeah, I, I just really hated the, 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 the manga style and that kind of stuff. And since, you know, these things are, you know, made to be sort of one shoddy kind of one, you know, thing, they didn't make a TV series or anything else like that. Um, it was just sort of, you know, kind of a, you know, let's put it out there. I guess it didn't sell very well and they just sort of, you know, let it go and that was it. So, you know, just... You know, something that just came up where I just didn't like the, the manga in the first place. They came up with this sort of, you know, sort of thing uh, on the anime, which is, you know, it didn't go anywhere. So, really, uh, I thought it was a, a pretty big waste of time in, in general. Okay, so the next one on the list is uh, Rosa Versailles. Okay, now much for the same reason. Um, the original character design for this particular show is done by Ayoko Aida. Okay, same person who does Dear Brother. And same sort of you know, situation where I just don't like the char- the, like, like the manga and how that's drawn and, and, and the way the characters are drawn. It's just, I, you know, way too much emphasis on the eyes and, and just the, you know, the fluffiness of the hair. And it's really, a, a, you know, the, I guess the a very effeminate male look, okay. Um, which I guess, you know, I guess you know, a, a lot of, uh, you know, the female readership likes that kind of thing, I guess. But, um, you know, it's just, at the time, I found that it's just, just really not, you know, I just didn't really like the way that's to how it was drawn, right? Um, so that was a big turnoff on the manga that way. Um, when they made the anime version, I was a little bit more interested. Um, you know, I still didn't like, you know, how the, you know, the, the, the story in general. Um, but at least the character design was, was a little more improved. Uh, the character design um, for the uh, series was... Uh, uh, Michi uh, Hayano, okay, and uh, Shingo Araki, okay, they worked on a lot of stuff together. Um, but the character design for that is done on a lot of very, actually very popular animes at this particular time. Uh, things like Amon Saga, you know, the one that was, you know, the Final Fantasy guy, right? Um, Babel 2, Dragon Fist, which I, you know, actually bought the laser skin fan sub, that particular one. Uh, Fumo, Fumo Nyokajor. Um, a little bit of uh, Gege no Kataro. Um, you know, the biggest names, of course, these guys worked on is things like um, Saint Seiya and Yu-Gi-Oh, okay? So you can see how, you know, the, in, in it was really well adapted in that sort of situation because when you look at characters like Shun um, and, and just how you know, things like uh, Ares and, uh, and uh, you know, those kind of guys were all drawn gives you that sort of sense, right? So... You know, I can see where that's, uh, you know, it just, they really put it through on this particular series. You know, again, based off the manga. Um, I just, I just did not find that very appealing. Even though with, you know, with a good character designer, the anime, you know, you know had, a, you know, a better premise to it. But still, could not get into that one. Um, but, you know, again, that's just, you know, that's just me. Some other people might like it. And again, uh, those people who... Who are in that kind of stuff, you know, obviously would probably like things like, uh, you know, Utena and that kind of stuff as well. But for me, I just could not, uh, could not follow that one. Okay, so the next anime that I just really could not stand um, is uh, Patelero, okay? Um, original manga is done by um, uh, Minio Maya, okay? And, you know, again, like certain types of animes like, uh, um, you know, Kriyan Shinchan, uh, Sazaya-san, um, you know, things like that, and of course, obviously, the Zio Paterial, um, the main character is really poorly drawn, and I just, you know, it's just, sometimes it's just absolutely unacceptable, 
in just in terms of I mean, I'm sure I get it. You know, maybe it's just the way they they, they want to portray a particular character and that kind of stuff. But again, when it gets into that kind of you know this extreme type of factor, um, um, I just you know I, I just cannot find it visually appealing for me to you know to to, to, to invest time in watching this show. Sure, it might have really good jokes. You know, Karen Shin you know has you know really some. Um, you know, and you know, Sazaya san, you know, really have lots of Japanese cultural, you know, significance and, and whatnot. But again, it's just, I just could not stand watching this thing because it's just not visually nice. The other anime that also falls in the same category is essentially uh, things like Touch 9, okay? So the original character design for this one is a Mitsuru uh, Atachi, okay? And literally every single manga of that person, I just do not like because the, the character design is virtually identically the same. So it's, you know, it's, you know, you're talking about the whole baseball love story. So it's, it's you know, basically our stories like Touch, Nine, H Two, um, Miyuki, Rough, um, Hitiate, uh, Ryoko. Okay, they're all literally the same characters. You know, drawn the same way. Um, a lot of the same sort of, you know, storylines and that kind of stuff. And I guess, yeah, I'll get it, okay. The storyline is a love story triangle type of thing going on. Maybe, you know, some people at this particular time would compare it to a, um, you know, uh, Orange Road, I was going to say Maze on Akaku, especially in the, in the second arc over there, that kind of idea. But at least, you know, things like Orange Road and Maze on Akaku, were I thought were very you know way better drawn by better artists, right? I didn't I just did not like the way you know the the, the characters on this ones are so more simplified. It's the way the eyes and that kind of stuff are just drawn, just, it's just you know, um, and the facial structures and that kind of stuff are just too simple for me and and not, um, you know, not just not drawn aesthetically pleasing. Okay, and for that reason. I just could not get into these these, these shows. Now, so again, that's another big anime that I just will avoid. Okay. Another anime that also falls in this exact same category of I just don't like the character design, especially the main character, is Gekige no Kitaro. Okay. So the original character who makes uh, the, or the person who makes this uh, particular anime is Shigeru uh, Mizuki. Okay. Nothing else significant uh, in his lineup, but you know. I know that a lot of people do like this show. I mean, there's you know, there's like literally hundreds of episodes uh, for this particular show. It's just that again, I you know, f- as the main character goes, well, actually, for the, for the main part, the main whole character design for like everyone in the show, I just don't like it. Now, again, you may think I you know that you know uh, I you know as soon as the anime has bad character design, I don't you know I won't like the show. That's not really correct. I mean, you know, some of my favorite animes, like, you know, uh, Great Teacher Onizuka, uh, Zuka, GTO, Initial D, for example, they don't have very good character designs, okay? But the anime, you know, and, and the story is really riveting, you know, has a good, you know, flow, and it's just, it, it makes you want to continue watching more, because, it, you know, it has a grasping sort of story. Now, sure, maybe Gets Your Guitar has that kind of thing. I couldn't feel it, and I couldn't get into it uh, with the episodes that I saw, and so it's just, you know, it just, it just doesn't have the draw like some of the other type of shows. Um, you know, I, I, I thought of another anime, uh, for example, Ping Pong Club does not have good character design, but man, that story is messed up, right? Um, and definitely, you know, that's you know that that's the sort of you know difference I, I find. So again, um, you know, because of that, I just cannot get into this particular show either. Now when they adapt this to the anime, um, the character designer for the anime is a uh, Yoshinari uh, Kanamori, okay? And you know, this person actually has some good credits to it. I mean, at this particular time, he does the character design for Wingman, he does uh, Final Fantasy uh, Land, uh, Legend of the Crystals, uh, Rail Star, but you know, most importantly, he does the character design for Yawara, okay? So, you know, he's, he, the, the character design is actually, you know, fairly well um, done, right? You know, so, you know, it has some caliber of that. But again, it's um, the characters that, 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 that are in this show. It's just, I like, I really just could not get it. Even, you know, he's got some good credits. I mean, I, I, I liked, um, you, know, you know, Wingman and, uh, and Yawara. 
uh, when it came out because I, I saw I saw Wee Man you know, quite early um, because I said, this is one of those sort of earlier sort of uh, you know Sentai type shows, right? So um, I, was, I was familiar with it, but you know I guess you know, again the way that the characters are drawn, I just could not you know invest. Uh, and, and you know, just get any sort of emotional investment in the characters when they look like that. I just, I just, just couldn't do it. Okay, so the next artist I have a really big beef with is Gona Guy. Now, he's a really kind of for me a hit and miss kind of guy. Okay, I mean he's been in the anime industry so long that uh, you know um, he's got a very big inventory of shows that are that are out there. And, um, and, you know, so, so you, you, you know, there are things that, you know, are good and bad. But the one thing that really, uh, really sticks it to me for this particular art is the Devil Man series, okay? Uh, and I'm referring to, you know, basically the, the uh, for most part, the entire Devil Man franchise. So the, the original Devil Man TV series, the OEVA series, uh, Devil Man Crybaby, okay? The only one exception of of Devil Man I, I that I that I don't dislike and probably is my favorite of all the Devil Mans is Devil Man Lady. Okay, now is it for for is it, there are a lot of things that he does and as I said I you know I, I, one of the you know animes that I do like from Going to Guy are things like Cutie Honey, Kekko Kaman. Um, you know he does uh, Violence Jack. Those are all great. Uh, you know God Beast Liger again. I'm, you know, I'm fine with all those type of things, but the one stick in my, in my butt is Devil Man. I, I just do not like any rendition of of, of, of his normal Devil Man's, right? Um, you know, and other than that, other, all the other sort of you know giant robot stuff, you know, where you know the, the character designs are not as important because you're watching it because of the you know giant robot, right? So all the Mazinger Zeds, the Geta Robos, the Gundizers, the Majin Kaiser, all that kind of stuff. Those are you're like you're you're watching it because of the, the robots, okay? So it's fine, okay? I, I can get, I can, I can look away from the, the from the, the the character design and the, and just the um, you know, just not the style of the female character I like. But be, you're watching the show for the robots, okay? So that's, that's no big deal. Um, but yes, so in, 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 one of the things, if you ask me for that, yeah, the Devil Man franchise in general. Um, again, with the exception of Devil Man Lady, because I know that the character design for that one, um, and for the TV series, was done differently. It's actually one from one of my favorite artists that, that, that actually does that. So that's why I particularly really do follow that one. Okay, and the last two that I want to get get into is you know in the same similar sort of light um, are the OVA for Cipher. Okay, so this is one of these ones where it's like I don't know what the guys who are smoking were making this one because they just couldn't make up their mind what the hell they were making whether to actually make a OVA based on this particular story or whether or not this is a, a collection of music videos or a little bit of both or I, I, I don't know if the guy had any idea what the direction that they were, were going to do with this thing so they just sort of a muggle of the amount of let's follow them on a little bit let's let's make a music video let's you know um, throw montages together I don't know what the hell this is so but if, with a little bit more organization, they could have actually made, um, you know, maybe like a two or three OVA series of the, out of this thing and actually came up with something really good and maybe make a, you know, a, um, a song music clips, you know, laser disc on its own. But, you know, again, they just threw everything together into, into one thing and it just turned out to be, you know, instead of, uh, you know, one concise or sort of you know good well written story. It's now just sort of a jack of all trades. Let's just throw whatever we got into a thing and just all like that, and it becomes a one shot disaster. Um, the next one also uh, in that same sort of light is what I don't know if you called a B boy. Now, unlike something like uh, an anime like Toy, um, you know, where you know they, they could you know combine the you know the, the the music and the sort of a you know, boy band type of thing, uh, music talent kind of thing going on there. Um, you know, uh, I found toys, you know, very, uh, you know, very good. Especially the music was really, really good on it too. Um, but you know, th that had flow and had story. This one is just like, again, I, I, I think there was more to the story and more could have, you know, happened. But it's just they, 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 they cut it up and they made it really short and, and 
they basically, um, you know, tried to add a lot of extraneous drama to the story, which really didn't need to be there. And it's just, and but but that's how it was written, right? It's just, and they tried to you know run through the entire story as quickly as possible, and they just made a freaking mess of it. And so you know, so yeah, again, if I have to call the enemies, which are just you know waste of time kind of thing you know make up your mind what the hell you're doing with the anime um yeah i'd have to say cypher and b-boy falls in those categories all right i hope you found that really interesting is that you know it's good it's good to go through and, and you know know and, and watch some of the uh your know, best animes in there but again it's, you know, it's true some people want to watch exactly the worst ones or just see how horrible things actually are and uh, this, hopefully this uh, episode will give you that in good indication of maybe what to avoid or if you just, uh, you know, you know uh, one that uh, like to, uh, you know, inflict pain on yourself. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> maybe you might want to check a couple of these ones out yourself. All right. So until next time, I will see you.